What's up, y'all? Fiona Fox here from Kitsuka.com. All the info you need to know on Microsoft's brand new Xbox One X, releasing this November. The Xbox One X is Microsoft's latest foray into the console market. It's a smaller, yet better version of their current console, the Xbox One, which will upgrade the performance of certain games already available for the system in a variety of ways, in addition to having all new games available in native 4K. The new console will have a custom 8-core AMD CPU, which is overclocked at 2.3 GHz, paired with a Radeon-based GPU with 6 teraflops of computing power and 12 GB of VRAM, also from AMD. It also features 1 TB of storage and support for UHD 4K Blu-rays. It's going to be out on November 7th, pre-orders are live now, and it will cost $500. US the general consensus on the power of both consoles is that the Xbox One X is more powerful, by all major comparisons, when compared to the PS4 Pro. However, the PS4 Pro is quite a bit cheaper than the Xbox, and there's always the question of games exclusive to each system, which is of course personal preference. I think it wouldn't be sensible to call a clear winner between the two until we see how the Xbox One X performs sales-wise and how much longevity it already has. But pre-order sales figures have been pretty clear. As of right now, the Xbox One X is winning. The Xbox One X is really only worthy of a buy if you're a specific kind of gamer. If you're a console-only gamer and you're looking for a more up-to-date experience, check it out. If you're not, it might not be for you. In summary, if you're a big spender who is interested in console gaming, look into the Xbox One X. But if you don't have the money to blow on a console like this or are indifferent between consoles and PC, then I'd say using that $400 to build a PC might be a better investment.